Compensatory sweating is a condition where following a sympathectomy, or think of it this way, an interruption of the sympathetic nervous system's ability to be able to send out sympathetic nerve signals to, say, a portion of the body, like the upper chest or the face scalp area or the upper chest, then what happens is, is that there tends to be an increased amount of sympathetic output along the adjacent uh, levels, specifically, say, lower down, like lower than the nipple line. Just imagine drawing a, a line around or a circle around the, the upper thorax, around the over over the nipples, like this, all the way around. And above that line, not much, if any, sweat. And below that line, increased, usually uh, in this area here, in the center chest or the inframammary or the lower back would be the most common areas of increased sweating. Most patients, but not all, most patients do develop a form of compensatory sweating where it's at least mild to moderate because compensatory sweating is not a condition that's either you have it or you don't have it in that sense because there's various gradations of the severity. Some patients have mild, easy to deal with. Some patients have moderate, easy to, well, easier to, well, not quite as easy to deal with, but tolerable. And then there's some that develop what I call a severe form of compensatory sweating, where it just soaks through your clothes. And it's not if you're outside exercising or inside exercising or you're outside in the heat or humidity, because people will sweat and should sweat in situations like that. But if you're like in an air-conditioned environment like I am right now, seated here in an air-conditioned room, and soaking through my shirt right here, or, or the lower back, or even my pants or the groin, for instance, just soaking through clothes, that is compensatory sweating.